Greetings and salutations you guys, welcome to another episode of the vlog. I am in the kitchen wearing gloves. Mom has been busy cleaning. Really? She's doing spring cleaning today and right now the oven is in a cleaning cycle. So the house smells like ash. All the doors and windows, well all the doors are open and it's pretty chilly outside. But while we're waiting for that to happen, we're cleaning a bunch of stuff it's in the dishwasher. Um, the kids just had Chick-fil-A. I'm gonna dye mom's hair. We're doing a lot of stuff today. So also she's thawing some chicken right here too for dinner. She's making, what is it called? Karahi. Chicken karahi. And then over here she has some beef that I just brought out. And she's going to make sinigang for the kids for dinner. Yay! Yay. Also, I love the trash can inside the drawer, cabinet thing, or whatever yep. that is. The best. The best thing we ever did. <laughs> also, we also have the air filter right there next to the to this oven so that it can suck up the smell, but it's just very intense right now. Also, before I start dying mom's hair, I want to show you guys the hills. Look at them, they're so yellow. It is so pretty. The allergies are going super crazy, but it's worth it because it's gorgeous up there. Look at those the yellow hills. They're going to be even more yellow. They finally started blooming. They took a while because I think it got pretty cold. Uh, but it's supposed to be warm again this weekend. So I think by this weekend, everything will be like super yellow. And then we have the orange and yellow flowers on the hills right here. They're starting to die off a little bit, but they're still really pretty. All right, guys, look at mom. She's got all her hair dyeing, and she's still <laughs> chopping tomatoes. <laughs> All right, guys, just got inside the car. We're going to get uh, go over to the post office really quick, and then we're going to go to probably like a veteran's church or something. So let's go. Just got to the store. Let's go inside, guys, and check it out. All right, you guys, we just got inside. There's this Kate Spade. Looks like it needs a cleaning. Oh, how cute. It says smile. Hi, guys. Um, How much is this? 15 bucks isn't too bad. I think it needs just a cleaning, so we'll put it over there. This Michael Kors has been, has been here since the other day, so that's 60 bucks. We'll have to wait on that one because it's a little too pricey. Forever 21. Uh, what is this backpack here? Yoki. Let's see what we can find here today. Looks like they just brought out a bunch of new things which is pretty exciting whatever this is is $60 de Nicola Roma I mean it looks pretty interesting so let's look at it we'll look into it Ralph Lauren East something East side Liz Claiborne. Sorry, y'all. Oh, this little fossil. It's kind of cute. How much are you, little fossil? Oh, seven buckaroos. Don't mind if I do. What is this? A cave, a cave. Hmm. I think I've seen this before. This is a Stuart Weissman like patent leather thing on my jigger. Caribbean Joe. Here's a coach that kind of looks Birkenish. How much are you, Birkenish coach? 25. Let's take a peekaboo at how good the fabric is, though. It's not the worst. Let's just hold it and think about it. Little Dooney. Kind of cute. Let's see. 
is this little Dooney and Burke right here. But so tiny and it's 30 bucks. We'll wait for that. Maybe it'll go on sale. Madame. Kenneth Cole. Oh, there's a little Sprilla right here. This one's kind of cute. Five bucks. So check this out too. Okay. Check it out. I also found this Dooney, which is 35. Oh, it's peeling inside. Wait a minute, is this fake? No way, is this a fake Dooney? I don't know. Maybe it's just like super damaged, but it's still peeling. Never mind, I don't want this. That's a shame. I am going to the backpack. Oh, they still have this one here that I saw last time. And they still have this Mark by Mark Jacobs laptop bag. Still waiting for them to go on sale sale. I show you best to you guys earlier. They still have this little Rebecca Minkoff bag. It's gonna be like ten dollars. It's missing the crossbody strap, but like you can easily get one, like a replacement. Plus the bag is like so cute, it just needs a cleaning. And I really like like the leather on it. Yeah, I'm gonna get this. They have some Fred Perry's. They have a ton of Adidas. Shoes. I wish I knew more about shoes in general because I feel like I don't know anything. I don't know what's like popular or gonna sell in terms of like sneakers and stuff. But I always have like a bunch of cool shoes here. All right, you guys, we are in the bags again. I didn't get to go in here last time because there was a bunch of people in here. So I left and came back. Oh, this is a fossil. Oh, this is twenty dollars. It's actually really cute. It doesn't scream fossil though. But it's... The leather is like stunning. We'll think about this for a second. Um, what is this? A Gap tote bag. Uh, this is that Mark Jacobs one for 50 Too expensive, so we're waiting on that to go on daily sale. Here's that bag that looks like a Balenciaga. Or like that triangle shape, right? I think Balenciaga did that, but... Yeah... It's like pleather, so... Frida, the dollars. What do we have here? What are you? Elliot Luca. 18 Abner. Donati. Let's see what that is. So I just found a bunch of like Disney ties. This one's like Mickey with dinosaurs, Mickey playing pool, Mickey comic booky thing. This one with like cloth. This one's pretty fun. But they're like four bucks each. Alright you guys, so I found this Terry O'Neill sweatshirt. Um, he does like, I think he's like a famous photographer. He does like those shirts for, that have like Kate Moss on the front and they were like really expensive, so this is like the sweatshirt he did. And I think the brand is Limitado or something. Um, but yeah, the shirt's gonna be 15 bucks, or sweatshirt. So I'm thinking about it, it's actually a really nice sweatshirt. It feels amazing. So we're gonna consider this. Put it over there. And then I found this Levi's jacket. 
this little Levi's tab got like cut out. But look at the back. Someone like painted this on it. It's actually really pretty. This is hilarious, you guys. Like, this is like a fake Gucci sweatshirt. It's like a Hanes sport sweatshirt. And then someone got like a Sharpie and put like a Virgil Abloh X thing on it. And they're selling it for 30 bucks. <laughs> All right, let's look at the shoes. I know a lot of you guys have been loving the shoes section, but look at this. These Jimmy Choo platform sandals, what? But they're 50 buckaroos. A little pricey for some patent platform. Well, maybe, maybe not, who knows, but too pricey for me at the moment, so I'm on holy until they'll go on sale, maybe. Um, oh, do I spot some? Fake Louboutin. Is it just the me or is it like... Am I going crazy? Are these fake? We're looking closely. Well, they're $100. Peep toe. Let's consider these. I don't know. They might actually be real. I'm gonna have to look closer, but I want to look through the rest of the shoes first. So let's go through these, and then afterwards, we'll find out about those Louboutins. Louboutins. Wait, what are these? I wanted to look at these and I forgot. What does that say? L'artiste? Oh, L'artiste. Lee Artiste. Ooh, jewels. Mm. Pom pom. Fur. Are these Uggs? No. They're Kula Bora. Kula. Kula Bora. These products have been here forever. Sam Edelman. Oh, these Fly London. Still here too. Some J. Cruz. If I remember seeing them before, like I'm not really looking at them. Unless like they warrant a second look because they're so fabulous. These are pretty cool, but they're just like Forever 21. But I love like the color and I love the heel. I always think these are Louboutins, but they're not. So Lear something. Um, these are like Arthur, Arturo, Chang. These are J. Crew, cool tortoiseshell plastic shoes. Some Kate Spade. Bunch of Sam Edelman. Oh, these Brian Atwoods. These have been here for a hot minute, also. But they're cool, like the cage heel is kind of awesome. Maybe we'll get them. I don't know, I'm feeling crazy. Some Vince Camudos. What are these? Um, Materia Prima? Ooh, what are these? Okay, one six fifty six. Alrighty, thank you. Something, something. Oh, great. Thank you. Alexandria Branda, Brandau. Do you guys know that brand? Cole Hunt, Ferragamos. Sass. Sassy. Arturo Chang's again. Oh, look at Brian Atwood. These are the same cage ones, but these are like leopard print pony hair. What? Well, they look so fabulous. Hold on. I'm just going to hold on to those two. Just for the sake of the fabulosity. I love how I'll just like put stuff in my cart because I think like it 
It just like needs a moment in there. Like me and my cart full of shoes. <laughs> But you know, you gotta just hold on to it until you decide that you're not gonna get it. Cause someone might swoop in and grab it and you might want it, but too bad because you don't have it anymore. So, you gotta do what you gotta do. What are these? Are these Jill Sander? I think they are. Jill Sander, size 39. And oh, those heels are cool. Right? Those are cool. These are interesting. Something Andrew. Why are these like kind of cool? They're like kind of cute. Oh, look at these. Who makes these? Colin Stewart. Oh my gosh, that just ripped off. <gasps> Yikes. And these are Tony Bianco. Wow, those are pretty too. Tony Bianco. Originally $189.95. Okay. Alright you guys. I feel like they are real, but I feel like I'm not gonna get them. I'm gonna wait until maybe they go on sale. Maybe they'll still be here. So we shall see, but they're a hundred dollars, so I'm just gonna wait a, a little bit. Alright, I found this mark by Mark Jacobs, so it starts MBMJ on it. This is my favorite part about it, is that it says it's not rocket science on the sleeve. It's super cute. I don't know if it's too late for this. But I think it's adorable. Um, I think it's gonna be like $7.50. It's gonna be 75% off. It needs a wash though. That is for certain. Also, in my travels around the store, I found this authentic vintage Dior bag. I'm like kind of dead over it. It's so cute. It has like a cute honeycomb design. Um, the top flap is leather. The body is a coated canvas. And then inside, actually, this is actually a removable pouch, which is so cute, it snaps off. So I'm like, so happy with this bag. Ugh, there's even a back pocket. Alright guys, I just got home, got all my stuff, so I'm going to show you guys what I got in a second. But I need to fill up the fountain because it needs more water, and my bird friends are thirsty. Alright, food is done. We have some beef soup from yesterday left over. Mom, what's this chicken called again? Chicken kara Karahi curry. Karahi curry. Yum. Of course, we have some garlic sauce. We have some hummus. And we have some pita bread right there. Hey guys, okay, so we are back at the house. It's actually like tonight. It's a little, it's a little bit later. But I'm super excited to share with you guys what we ended up getting today from the third because we got some pretty good stuff. So um, let me start off with the ties that I got. So I got these ties because I want to um, try and make them into twillies, right? Like I think that'd be so cute. Like you know like when you tie like these fabric things around the handle of your bags kind of like decoratively and also a way to protect the leather of your straps. Um, so I found a couple that I thought were really cute. This one is one of my faves. It's this cat one. It has like a Persian cat. It has like a tabby I think. Maybe even some hairless cats. I'm not too sure. Maybe those are Siamese. We are Siamese, if you please. <laughs> uh, I also got this Disney one. It has like it's like a Mickey Mouse kind of like cartoon one. Like I think they go on a treasure hunt or something with Goofy. So I thought that was super duper cute. And then I got a third one, which is this other Disney one, and it's like a caveman one with Mickey and Donald and a T-Rex and a Triceratops. So I thought this was really fun. This one was three dollars. The other Mickey one was four, and the cat one was only ninety-nine cents. So that one was an awesome deal. So I can't wait to try making those into toys. I think it's gonna be super duper fun. The next thing I got here is I got this sweatshirt, and it is uh, it says Chip Chrome on it with like this like robot guy swinging on a on a metal thing. Uh, it's printed on a champion shirt, but I think like 
I looked it up. These are actually like pretty expensive. This was only three bucks, so I got it. And then even if I don't sell it, I can like wear it when it's cold and it's like giant and oversized, which is like everything I want in my life as far as like clothing goes. So you just like lounge in this and it'll be so nice and comfy. So I got this. I thought this was like a really fun buy and something that even if it doesn't sell, I can just like wear it. So I don't feel bad about getting it. Uh, then I ended up buying these Brian Atwood Atwood shoes. I think they're so cool. Is that tape? See, there was a piece of tape. Ugh. Okay. Um, these were $20, but they were 75% off. So I got them for five buckaroos, I think. I think if I did the math correctly, it's $5. Uh, they're black suede, and then they have like this cool like caged heel in gold and they're not in bad shape they're like in pretty good shape still so um i got them they're a size 8.5 eight and a half so these are fantastic i'm gonna have mom try them on to see if they're like a if they like fit more true to size or what but these are just really cool shoes that i couldn't pass up on so i had to get them and i'm pretty excited about it because these are Honestly, like, they're gorgeous shoes. Like, look at those. Those are so, so pretty. They definitely make a statement, and I am here for it. So I got these guys. Then I got this little number, and this is by a brand called John Hart. Now, I'm not familiar with John Hart, but when I looked up John Hart, uh, John Hart stuff is pretty expensive. So I looked up, I think, just um, this part, like, just this thing, um of like the little wristlet and the little tag was, I think it was like $38 is what I want to, is what I think I saw online. So that was like expensive. And it's just that, this is actually like super duper cute. It has like the leopard print and it has like a, an embossed J on there. And then this other piece is just like a little ID wallet. It also has the letter J embossed on there as well. And the inside just looks like this. It's like a clear thing for your ID and then um, another pocket if you want to like carry some cash or whatever but these are so cute and i think this one retails this one's like 48 or something and this one's like 38 so together this is like a good deal but i only got this for five dollars for the two pieces and i just thought it was really cute i really do love like this leopard print i love anything leopard print like leopard print is one of my weaknesses i love it it's one of my favorite neutrals i always like as i like to say um, then I ended up, okay, so I had been seeing this at the store for so long, finally picked it up because it was going to be 50% off, so this was $10, it's a Rebecca Minkoff bag, it's missing the chain, now I don't remember if, like, someone took the chain off and put it on another bag or something, because I don't remember if I saw it with a chain the first time I saw it, maybe it never had one, but you can easily just get, like, a silver chain and attach it to this, you can buy one for... Uh, like pretty inexpensively at Amazon and I think you can get it for like 10 bucks or like around there something like that so but I, I really like this like maybe just as a clutch too I think it's really really fun I love like this like the way it locks so it has this little guy right here and it opens like that so that's how you open and close the bag there is a back pocket which is nice I do love the leather too on this it's a it's kind of like a uh, like a caviar leather, kind of like Chanel has, and this is in a baby blue. Now I think this is just super dirty, and I think I can clean it. And I don't even think it's coming up that dirty on camera, but it's actually like really dirty. It's almost like turned gray from all like the dirt on it. So we're gonna try and clean it up. Um, there's a front pocket underneath the top flap right there, and then here's the interior. I feel like it just got dirty from being in the store because I think like it falls on the floor a lot. Like I honestly don't know. But there's the interior, has some card slots in there, and that's pretty much it. I think it'll fit my phone perfectly. This I have the iPhone 12 Pro Max, and ooh, it actually fits right inside this front pocket perfectly. And that's without a case, though. I think if it had a case, it wouldn't really fit inside there too well. Let's see if it fits in the back pocket. I think that's a very important test to see if it can fit in the back um it can but it is like super snug i'd rather put it in the front or just like in the regular interior of the bag itself but good to know that it actually fits inside this pocket right here so got this for 10 bucks definitely could use a good cleaning which i'm going to do and i think it's so cute 
Um, I have a gold chain, so I don't, um, I'm gonna see if I can find if I have a silver one or whatever, but we shall see. It's so nice. I like this bag a lot, so I'm very happy to have picked it up. Okay, but last but not least, this is the piece de resistance. This is the holy grail item of the day. <sighs> oh boy, hot diggity dog. I have been like trying to manifest a Dior bag for a hot second. Um, and I'm so happy to have finally found one. I feel like this was like meant to be. I like walked up and it was just like sitting there waiting for me and I can't believe that it was there. But it is boop, boop, boop. this beautiful Dior bag. I don't even know why like I'm like hyping it up so much because you guys already <laughs> saw it literally. But like now that we're in the privacy of our own home, I can like scream and yell um, to an extent because like everyone's sleeping. But it's this beautiful Dior bag. It's in the like that honeycomb type of pattern for like vintage Dior. Isn't it so gorgeous? And it's um, in that coated canvas. The rest is like in this beautiful, like kind of like glazed type of leather and magnetic top flap. Here's the interior, beautiful. What I love most too about this bag is that this part, the interior pocket will pop out so you have two bags for the price of one so then you have this little clutch that is so stinking cute christian dior made in france has a little dior dongle thing as well and then you can just like zip it and then be on your merry way so this bag is so awesome you guys like i love this detail about it it's like especially like i feel like for a vintage style bag that is like fully innovative like i feel like i've never seen a vintage bag have this feature i don't know i'm probably like they probably all had it and i just never knew but it's so cool so then there it is when it's like back inside and it's perfection you guys it's so cool um this bag is stunning i think the leather could use a good cleaning and conditioning and then that's pretty much it like it's a beautiful cross body ah oh, it's so cute you guys look at that oh it's so cute and that makes me not want to Give it up. It also has this little mark right here. I didn't even notice. There's a mark right there. Um, probably can get it out, hopefully. the This coated canvas is pretty forgiving, so hopefully it'll come right out with some um, elbow grease. And hopefully this, the marks on the top of this will get out too, but I feel like hopefully it will. But it's such a beautiful bag. It's so gorgeous. So I'm very, very happy. This was the most pricey item that we bought today, though. It was $75, but I feel like it was very, very well worth it and it's such a beautiful vintage piece and oh, now I just want to keep it <laughs> okay now I have to be strong 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 but yeah anyway that will hopefully pop up soon in the shop and or in um, one of the live sales that I've been doing. Ooh, if you guys haven't been um, checking out my live sales, uh, turn on the post notification bell or whatever so that you'll be updated when um, the live sales go up, or like when I do the live sales as well. And also follow me on Instagram because I'll post in my stories when that when I'm actually going to be doing the live sales on there as well. Usually I do them like Friday, Saturday, Sunday nights between 8 and 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm trying to do them earlier. It's a little bit more difficult. Maybe like during the week I'll do them a little bit earlier, but during the weekend, I really can't do them any earlier because I'm usually out and I don't get home until later on and then it's already too like it's already around that time when I get home and can start doing the lives so yeah but please comment down below what times are best for you and what days and I'll try to take everything into consideration um, but that is gonna be the end of today's video hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys did please give it a big thumbs up especially if you enjoyed this Dior bag vintage Dior yes it's so nice I'm so excited and uh, don't forget to check out tomorrow's new video bright and early at 7am. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Alright, bye!